February or March 22nd. I'm driving in Missoula for the first time in a van I've never been in before. We're listening to Limbo on the radio. Here we go. So far, only half a roll of electrical tape, a few adjustments, and nothing has been hit. But it's still early in the day. Hey everybody, I uh, just want to do a quick update. It is Sunday, the 24th of March, uh, as March is already quickly coming to a close here. I am back in Denver after a very brief visit to Missoula to obtain my driver's license restrictions. Uh, I took my driver's test on Friday and passed successfully. I only lost four points. Um, as a formality, I think I had to lose some points. Uh, but um, it was good. Driving went really well. The van worked out super well that we rented from AM Mobility there in Missoula. Great little uh, dealership, actually, that does a bunch of mobility uh, stuff and has some used vans. So they rented me a van for the day and I took the test and successfully passed. So now I can drive legally in. States of the United States so that's great um, it was stressful I was a little nervous but once it was done it was a huge relief so that is a good thing to have behind me uh, thanks to Mike Fund for letting me stay there thank you Jill Johnson for picking up the van thank you Jessica Giuliani for always supporting and picking me up and driving me around and be in there for me and then to all my other friends that I saw and all the other ones that I missed I'm, um, I'm grateful but uh, yeah that was awesome um, flew back in this morning early to try to take a nap this afternoon had some leg spasms again but hoping to go to bed early tonight um, last week went by pretty quick like I said I left on Friday morning or it was actually Thursday night at 7 o'clock today in Missoula and then uh, had my test Friday it was there Saturday I just got back this morning Sunday so uh, last week was just kind of a standard therapy week um, had my eval on Tuesday and my re-eval for the NRN program my occupational therapy stuff I showed improvement in five out of 14 areas again. So mostly truck stability. Um, shoulders looked better to starting to work a little better. So now they kind of have switched gears on me a little bit and I'm working a ton on hand stem, trying to get some movement in my fingers or making a grip basically. So uh, they're stimulating, they put a lot of stim on, on my forearms and my hands itself. So there was, six channels on each arm basically so that's a lot just going into my arm muscles trying to make them work so um craig is working on a kind of a research protocol now that's a little bit more uh, interesting too there's one patient that's doing it using electric stim that is applied directly on to the spinal cord same patches same through skin but they're basically stimming this, the cord right at the junctions. So, interesting stuff. I'm kind of curious to see how it works out with the one guy that's, that's uh, doing it. So, that's kind of a neat thing. Um, no news on the apartments. Uh, Brandon is actually going forward with uh, starting his modified bathroom for me here, and I'll have a place in Aurora to stay whenever I want to, which would be pretty sweet. So um, I think he's doing it to keep my, do keep my dog around, but deep inside, I mean, that's what he says, but deep inside I know he wants to have me there too. So it's pretty awesome. So that's going forward. Um, I'm sitting outside the hotel right now. I just got back actually on the power chair. As you can see, picked up some groceries, which are behind me. Went to King Supers safely had a grocery expedition um, nothing fell off the shelves today dropped one can of beer a 24 ounce can of high life and hit the ground bounced didn't explode 
So we put that one in. But, um, yeah, that'll be for the beer brats tonight. Dad and I are making some beer brats with sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is a pretty good thing for having some uh, probiotics. So we're going to eat a whole jar of it tonight, maybe. You never know. Spicy mustard, the whole bit. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think what else. Interesting. I'm continuing on with the NRN program, obviously, for another 20 sessions, so that puts me into April 18th. And then from there, I've got to, hopefully, I'll be able to stay with Brandon going forward there. So I'm busting my butt trying to get a van deal done. I, uh, A&M Mobility had a bunch of vans. So I'm going to try and work out a deal with them and then uh, having somebody drive it down here to Denver so I can start driving myself back and forth to Craig. Yeah, super, super exciting. Just kind of some, it's just, I know it's just one step at a time, but it's going by quick. So I, you know, can't believe I'm coming up on seven months since post-injury. Um, James and I spent some time on Saturday at my garage, at my house, uh, just sorting through life a little bit. Um, a lot of stuff just got thrown in there after my injury, uh, just kind of all the stuff that was scattered about Missoula and, you know, stuff that was on the job site with Greg and stuff that was up in Bolo with Wendy where I was staying. And so just had to get, wanted to get through it, make a path through the garage, just threw a bunch of shit away. The tools that were strewn about because I was in the middle of a project fixing the T100. So I, uh, James helped me put the tools away in the toolbox, which was great. So, you know, it was kind of funny. I had, was saying this to James too. It's, uh, I remember seeing somebody else, a friend of mine's garage once from his high school years. We were back visiting for some odd reason and we went to his old race car shop and the back barn and walked in there and it literally was like somebody had just stopped everything and just left immediately I remember seeing that place and that's what my garage made me think of a ton was just like it's just like whoever was working there just vanished which was me so that was good it felt good to make a little progress on that and take some mental inventory of the stuff that that's it's time to move on with so um, a lot of stuff in the garage motorcycle chainsaws mountain bikes bicycles some odds and ends tools things like that um, just took mental inventory and now I can feel good about moving on with that and then you know one step closer and making a decision about what to do with the house um, yeah, I didn't get to look at the condo that's there. It's a wheelchair accessible condo that uh, is for sale in Missoula that they want to try and fit me up with. So that didn't happen, which is kind of a bummer. I went to the Department of Vocational Rehab, found out that the Department of Vocational Rehab office in Missoula is no longer functioning because the vocational rehab funding in Montana has gotten cut through the budget process. So. Now I'm on a waiting list with 2,600 other people to see if they're going to get more funding. And vocational rehab would pay for my uh, van modifications so that I could get back to work. So that's a bummer. So got to start keep working on plan B. But in the meantime, the used, the quick and dirty used van will be temporary solution until I can get into my new van with the modifications because ultimately that'll be a longer term solution so I don't have to worry about it so much but um, got a little video snippet of me driving in Missoula I'm gonna attach that here at the end a um, couple of random pictures uh, Mike and Jenny got a puppy Mike and Jenny got married at the courthouse congratulations um, bada boom bada bing I guess you know bought a ring made it happen so congrats to both of you thanks again for letting me stay um, thanks to Emily my my uh, tech my home health care uh, 
you're amazing. I appreciate the help. You got me through a, a pretty, pretty crazy trip, pretty uh, absolutely smoothly. So flights went good. The transfers, we took a bigger airplane this time, which helped a ton with the transfers. And we advocate a little bit more for more people to help. So that all was a really good situation compared to last time. Last time was a real ugly one. So to survive it healthy and happy and mission accomplished. I think that's a really good thing. So yeah, more to come this week. Got a busy week. Just therapy, therapy, therapy. And then um, let you guys know how it goes. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Take care. Talk real soon.